The UN is becoming more anti-Israeli, anti-Semitic. It's an upside down place. I mean, I'm, I'm used to it. Civilians must not be targeted. They pass more resolutions on Israeli human rights violations dealing with Palestinians than human rights violations in all the rest of the world combined. Not abiding by these principles may amount to war crimes and crimes against humanity. All the other countries there, and you can imagine some of them, nothing. The UN Human Rights Report is a joke. A joke. Harsh words from Senator Lindsey Graham calling the UN anti-Semitic and a joke with at least the report. Senator Graham joins us. Nice to see you. So you don't back off that for one second, do you? No, there's anti-Semitism flourishing all through Europe. It's really spreading throughout the world. But the UN resolution that the Human Rights uh, Committee passed was written by Hamas. Can I and there's no secret to that. They and admit it, it. It was 27 to 1. We were the only country voting no, and 17 countries abstained. Germany, France, Great Britain. The resolution made me sick to my stomach. Can I read you yes. just one sentence? Deploring the massive Israeli military operation in the occupied Palestinian territory, including East Jerusalem since 13 June 2014, which have involved disproportionate and indiscriminate attacks and resulted in grave violation of the human rights of the Palestinian civilian population. The 1,600 words and one half of one sentence talks about Israel and never mentions Hamas. Hamas, Greta, has a goal, not for two-state solution, but to destroy Israel. Two things. One is that disproportionate issue is a little bit odd to me in war, like it's supposed to be like, like some sort of game, like, you know, we're supposed to have even teams. That's a little weird. 2,500 rockets have been fired since the conflict started. Hamas is trying to kill Israeli civilians. The Israeli government is trying their best not to kill uh, uh, Palestinian civilians. I've got a video that I'm going to provide to your show that is a Palestinian TV broadcast with Hamas leaders urging the population to go to the areas that Israel's about to bomb and bare your chest and become martyrs for the cause. As Israel drop, drops leaflets to evacuate an area, the leadership of Hamas is saying, go to that area, get on top of the buildings, and bury your chest to the enemy. You know, as uh, the UN, I expect to be sort of feckless. You know, like, the, you know, they have never done anything. But what is the most appalling thing to me on this is Germany and all these European countries essentially voting present. They don't even have the guts to vote yes or no on this resolution. Who would you want to be your neighbor, Hamas or Israel? Israel's not a perfect country. No one is, but there's no moral equivalency here. But why is, why is Germany just voting present? Because they're afraid of international opinion, of the media, of well, large got Muslim some populations. They've got some historical national All opinion they ought to worry you, about. Yes, ma'am. This resolution passed by the Human Rights uh, Committee within the United Nations was authored by Hamas and the great democracies of our time took a pass and hid in the corner and Congress is going to push back. I just met with Israeli ambassador, six Democrats, excuse me, three Democrats and three Republicans. We've had it with this UN double standard. Israel's in a fight for their lives. They need the ability to destroy these terror tunnels. Eleven soldiers were killed today. The tunnels have one purpose, to kill Israeli civilians. The rockets are designed to kill as many as they could. And the only reason they haven't killed a lot of civilians in Israel is because of Iron Dome. So there is no moral equivalency. Hamas is a terrorist organization. They've got one goal, to destroy Israel, and we're not going to let that happen. I, 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 and just let me repeat, I repeat myself at the risk of being really boring, but the fact that so many countries just voted present. 17, 17 just of the great democ Now, China voted with, you can understand China and I, Russia, right? Take a but where is France, Great Britain? Uh, and, great Britain is unbelievable. And Germany. France, unbelievable. Germany anyway. of all people. Senator, thank you. And I look thank forward you. to seeing that video. Thank you, sir. Thank you.